And, well, and, 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 I, and I got it for academics, and we'll talk about this later on. I don't really have, when I think about it, the only issue I have with academics is the same issue that everybody else has with academics. Is the things that he's he promotes and monetizes, A, he's not from or a part of, which is, you know, his he has a fetish, like many young people do, and suburbanites do, with gangsterisms and gangs and, you know, all of that. The whole pill pop culture and all of that other nonsense. And the fact that a lot of the artists that he enjoys are just not good rappers. They're just not good at rapping. The things that he's promoted. I think some of the music is trash. But that's just a musical opinion. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's basically, Ebro, what we said. And then yesterday, his response to us, rather than saying, like, nah, y'all don't know what I'm about, etc., it was really... Look how much money I've made. I, I, I own this. I own that. I have this. I have that. And I just went on to say, that doesn't prove anything except my point. Yeah, I, I'm not. I think he did make a lot of money. My question is, how did you make your money? What do people who matter really think about what you do? Well, I think, I think you know, he, and that's part of why we don't really enjoy and are probably too old and mature for the world that he's successful in is because how much money you make isn't the only determining factor in how I view success. I mean, talk about it. But that's not necessarily everyone. And so a lot of people would potentially agree with academics. I'm just not. I've never been that person before. Me neither. Um, so. But I, I do want to once again reiterate, very happy to be a part of the conversation. <laughs> Ve very happy to be engaged here uh, and honored. Thank you very much. Uh, that's that's the Rosenberg Report this morning, talking about some Internet nonsense. In the real world, though, uh, more shutdowns, they say, may come in. Like that. I dedicate that to DJ Academics. Oh. You ain't a crook, son. You a shook one. My lord. You know what I'm saying? Losers. So early you a morning. prisoner to your own lifestyle, my guy. Mm. You can't even go outside, my dude. Mm. Well, we, none of us could really go outside. Well, no, I mean, true, but different. No, no, like legit, he couldn't go outside now when or I, then. When outside was open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You a prisoner to your own lifestyle, my guy. Mm. You shook. At, look him up. Yeah, what's the and I don't even dislike you like Rosenberg. I don't want you to fight. I don't even want. I just want you to understand that what you perpetuating is a dead end. Is a dead end, B. You might have got some bread, courtesy of the labels. Now I'm gonna tell academics this: you keep popping that, I'm gonna pull one of them invoices from one of them record labels. <laughs> you keep you keep talking that you ain't getting money for record labels. Ain't nothing for me to call an accounting department and talk about those bulk record deals that you have, those bulk promo deals. Where they pay you to promote music. It ain't nothing but a thing, my G. Mm. Don't just, have me get loose and old school. I've been doing this war thing for a minute. For a minute. I mean, the problem is, though, it's sort of a waste of time considering our average audience driving to work is going, who are they talking about? That's right. It's just for fun, Rosenberg. Come on, man. Play along, man. This is just... Shenan well, I mean, but I, it's also an excuse for us to explain because, yeah, people are confused. People he's have jobs. A, he, he's big on the internet, man. He's an internet internet dude. Yo, by the way, never rocked the club in his life. Cash One, he ever rocked the club? His name is DJ Academics. Where you DJ at? Uh, you ever been on flyer with him? Nah. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm literally just thinking of it. No, I can tell. You're not even trying to be insulting. Cass is literally just thinking about the answer. Yeah, I'm really. That's what was so, that's yo, the thing. Yo, he brought, yo, your man's, I heard, do we have audio? I heard your man, somebody just texted me and said, your man was talking about how I, I used to decide who was the minors and the majors. Yo, that was from 2012 yeah. when I was talking about minors and majors. And by the way, you know what that was about? That was about who makes it to mainstream radio and who doesn't. And you know where you're not academics? On mainstream anything. Facto. So you're not in the major leagues, my guy. You're still upon the internets. There is still a difference between a song that is popular for a couple of days on the internet and your IG page 
and what is going around 40 to 50 times a day every day on every radio station in America and the fact that you still don't know the effing difference gets you this congratulations you played yourself <laughs> see bro mama styles being a mama you got Rosenberg. I don't know how much energy he got left after spazzing on IG Live last night. We got to play y'all that audio coming up on the show. Oh, who did? Uh, Rosenberg lost his whole mind last night. Man, why did not lose my mind? What's wrong? That feels like it just happened the other day, too. What do you mean? I don't know. Didn't you just spaz on social media like a week ago or something? Two weeks? I, I don't know. You all right, man? I'm good. I don't remember that, though, Shawnee. Something happened recently. Well, just to give y'all early listeners some insight, Rosenberg was triggered by DJ Academics. Mm. I need I need questions. <laughs> I have answers. I'm happy to answer for you. Well, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it today. I want good. I wouldn't hope you. I would hope you wouldn't. But. It was peculiar when I and, and by the way, I'm this is secondhand information. Rosenberg losing his marbles. Uh so I didn't really get to soak it in myself. You know, people hype they hype it up when they tell you about it. Yo, your man is yo, he loses yo, it's crazy. Yo, y'all all right over there, man. Ain't nobody Yo, I got texts like that from people. I was like, What are y'all talking about? <laughs> y'all think I got beef with Monster Cody or something? Like what? <laughs> I mean, what were they worried about? Does not, no one understand the value of, of just good uh, good entertainment, cutting a promo? Nah, I guess they don't. They don't get the difference. They, they well, how them. serious could it possibly be with the person we're talking about? Yeah, we're talking about the guy Academics. You know him from Instagram. And uh, if you watch the Complex show, or that the show that used to be on, it, the show's over. Right. Um, But at any rate, um, look, man, I, I always got to remind people at 30 years in the game and when people hit you with the whole like, yo, he's tr he right, man. Y'all, you know, y'all not really relevant on radio anymore. I'm like, well, then how did we get in the conversation? Why y'all talking about us then? If that's the case, that's the best. That's always my best part. They've been saying that for 20 years. Right. It's, it's been over and dead for so long. Yo, it's crazy. You know, sometimes I spaz out and afterwards I'm like, man, why did I? I don't really like what I said. This wasn't one of those cases. I, I After I spazzed out, I, I went back and I went, you know, I, I really think I made some good coaching points. <laughs> so when somebody hit me and said you had challenged somebody to a, a Jake Paul type boxing match, that was an overstatement. Well, that part was kind of the fun in the fun lane of it. Oh, that was okay. that wasn't the uh, that wasn't the real points I was making. Oh, okay, I was okay, okay. I was also adding to the point that it's rare that someone of my ilk, who is not a tough guy, ever like um, it's it's rare that I ever have issues with someone who's so much softer than even me. That was the point, mm. and the level of bass that this dude uses in his voice while he's yelling and playing video games in his basement. The idea that you get bass in your voice and talk like you're you are really about something. That's the, you know, that's the modern day gangster. Man. Yo, but uh, while you have the controller in your hand? That's I the can't. modern day gangster, you know what I'm saying? Super that's modern. That's Yo, like, that's like the, the, you know, it used to be Twitter fingers. Now it's the, you know, I don't know what they call it. Twitchy fingers. Twitchy fingers? I don't know Be what they call it. Because I saw, I used to see him in the building that we worked in at the same time, and he was a tip mouse. What does that mean? Would, not a peep. A little a little quiet nerd scared to talk. Oh, yeah, y'all used to work together. Yeah, we were in the same building. Y'all saw each other all the time. Y'all ever No, 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 not all the time. Only oh. once or twice. But. Did y'all speak? I tried. He basically ran off the other direction. So that's oh, why I was confused wow, that's, to that's why the, the bass in his voice, when he talked to you and me, the level of bass he had in his voice, uh, that's the only thing that made me sort of jokingly say, hey, if you want to have a Jake Paul style fight, we could do that. It was just pointing out the irony. But it really wasn't about that. I made oh, it okay. 
I made some points that I actually thought were. Uh, but at any rate, at any rate, the the issue at hand, if you're wondering, is uh, this guy academics feels like. I think somebody quoted to me uh, that I'm mad at him because him playing music means more than me playing music. I haven't broken a record, y'all, or been first or even been a part of that energy since the 90s, bro. I've only managed people and managed businesses for people. That's it. So I think y'all got y'all y'all think we're in the same game. We're not in the same game, bro. We're just not. I'm not. Labels don't call me. Labels don't pay me. Labels don't ask me. None of that. I'm here as a service provider to artists to help them get their message out in a clear and concise manner and provide context so that the average consumer can understand what's going on. I'm not breaking records, guys. I share things I like. That's not even really what he said about you, though. I mean, it's oh, what did he say? That's all I got from it. I mean, a lot more than that. I mean, none of it was significant or relevant or true, but it also wasn't just that. It's almost giving him too much credit. Oh. Well, then I want to hear the salacious stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. Because I missed I, it all. I, 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 during a commercial yesterday... I was on Twitter, and I clicked play. I was in a commercial anyway. I was like, let me hear what this guy had to say. And the main thing I was taking the back by was just the bass. Oh, so there wasn't even any relevant point. Because I was trying to look at what this no. is really about. Because I honestly, yesterday, when you was talking about academics on the show and you were saying he was no talent, I thought I actually kind of tried to stick up for him. You did. You did, but I, I, I doubt he heard it. People were just telling him what was said in general. Got it. So got you probably it. got dragged into it more so than me, honestly. And then, and then, which is fair, which, which I don't well, feel Sean, bad you about. you heard it yesterday with academics. I thought I stuck up for him. Like, yo, I mean, he's done his thing. He finessed the game. I don't really like this or that, but <laughs> he's doing his thing. Yeah, I mean, it was like a backsided, backhanded uh, compliment. Yeah. It was? But relative to me, he actually defended him. He did, he did. But I, I felt like there was a little something he could probably uh, take offense to. So I don't remember what it was, but you know how I go. You know what I'm Very interesting. I, I'm, having, I'm actually having a good time with it because I'm, I'm, I always enjoy, and y'all know this, being a part of conversations and, and arguing with 18 to 24-year-olds. That is that who have no thrive. who have no like macro view of where they're going in this game or how to survive it. You do thrive there. Well, only for the promo. Because it's like, yo, they, I'm still in the convo. <laughs> yo, this is crazy. It was like when I got, when Remy accused me of having sex with Nicki Minaj. Well, that was I, just. I was like, yo, I'm on fire. People believe I can have sex with Nicki Minaj? Hot. Hot out here. Scorching. <laughs> yeah. This is great. Man. All right, let's all have a good time and listen to Rosenberg challenge another man to a fight. You have the audio there, Shawnee Culture. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this happened because uh, this guy on the Internet, his name is Academics, big in the, big in the uh, what is that, what do I call it, like the young rap space. If you're into, you know, young rappers, you've probably seen his name before. Oh, it's, it's called the Internet. Yeah, he's big, big, big over there. Big. Ready? Yeah, let's hear it. Yo, the bass in Academics' voice, when he talks about me and Ebro from the comfort of his twitch chair the level of bass and yelling in his voice yo let me tell you guys about when i worked at complex the way that dude carried himself in that building let me tell you about the level of hit mouse that that dude was in that building and the way he walked in the hallways the speed walk that that dude does to avoid confrontation in real life academics the level of bitch in that oh, dude. Yay. I am one of the softest dudes publicly in the history of hip hop. I'm from Chevy Chase, Maryland. I went to Hebrew school, okay? <laughs> With people named Shlomo and Ari and Avi, okay? This may be the only dude in the game who I would have zero hesitation scrapping with. Matter of fact, I know you're not much of a celebrity. You're just like a fat boy on Twitch. 
Oh. I would do a straight up celebrity boxing with you. Mm. I will Jake Paul academics for charity. <laughs> Mind you, for charity. There has to be a purpose. Yo. Wow. Yo, we need a charity to weigh in. <laughs> yes. We need a charity. I want to see this. Yo, Pete, you went hard. <laughs> My lord. Yo, that I was mean, the that was the nicest rant I've ever heard. Right, thank you. That was you. the nicest fight challenge I've ever heard. Yo, everybody who texts me and was concerned, y'all some little bitches. Mm. If you heard that and thought that there was real smoke going on, Bruh. you've been in the house too long. This quarantine has really turned your brain to mush. It's on site. It's on site. It sound like it's on site. It does not. Only thing is nobody's <laughs> going to see each other. It does not sound like it's on site. Right. It sounds like... I don't know why people I don't know what that. it sounds like. It sounds like a nice meeting at a coffee table with tea and crumpets. That's yeah. what it sounds like. That's what I thought. I didn't really I didn't I'm surprised anyone would hit you concerned. Now listen, I went in as time went on, because I ranted for a while, I, I laid out more details of things that I, I felt, but that was the only real time when it was like in that sort of uh physical context. The rest was all a breakdown of uh how i think your guy made his money and well and and, what he and, does. I, and i got it for academics and we'll talk about this later on i don't really have when i think about it the only issue i have with academics is the same issue that everybody else has with academics is the things that he's he promotes and monetizes a he's not from or a part of which is you know, his he has a fetish, like many young people do, and suburbanites do, with gangsterisms and gangs and, you know, all of that. The whole pill pop culture and all of that other nonsense. And the fact that a lot of the artists that he enjoys are just not good rappers. They're just not good at rapping, the things that he's promoted. I think some of the music is trash. But that's just a musical opinion. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's basically, Ebro, what we said. And then yesterday, his response to us, rather than saying, like, nah, y'all don't know what I'm about, etc., it was really, look how much money I've made. I, I, I own this. I own that. I have this. I have that. And I just went on to say, that doesn't prove anything except my point. Yeah, I, I'm not, I think he did make a lot of money. My question is, how did you make your money? What do people who matter really think about what you do? Well, I think, I think you know, he, and that's part of why we don't really enjoy and are probably too old and mature for the world that he's successful in is because how much money you make isn't the only determining factor in how I view success. I mean, talk about it. But that's not necessarily everyone. And so a lot of people would potentially agree with academics. I'm just not, I've never been that person before. Me neither. Um, so. But I, I do want to once again reiterate, very happy to be a part of the conversation. <laughs> Ve very happy to be engaged here uh, and honored. Thank you very much. Uh, that's that's the Rosenberg Report this morning, talking about some internet nonsense. In the real world, though, uh, more shutdowns, they say, may come in. Like that. I dedicate that to DJ Academics. Oh. You ain't a crook, son. You a shook one. My lord. You know what I'm saying? Losers. So early you a morning. prisoner to your own lifestyle, my guy. Mm. You can't even go outside, my dude. Mm. Well, we, none of us could really go outside. Well, no, I mean, true, but different. No, no, like, legit, he couldn't go outside now when or the, then. When outside was open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You a prisoner to your own lifestyle, my guy. Mm. You shook. At, look him up. Yeah, what's the and I don't even dislike you like Rosenberg. I don't want you to fight. I don't even want. I just want you to understand that what you perpetuating is a dead end. Is a dead end, B. You might have got some bread, courtesy of the labels. Now I'm gonna tell academics this: you keep popping that, I'm gonna pull one of them invoices from one of them record labels. <laughs> you keep you keep talking that you ain't getting money for record labels. Ain't nothing for me to call an accounting department and talk about those bulk record deals that you have, those bulk promo deals. Where they pay you to promote music. It ain't nothing but a thing, my G. Mm. Don't have me get loose and old school. I've been doing this war thing for a minute. For a minute. I mean, the problem is, though, it's sort of a waste of time considering our average 
audience driving to work is going, who are they talking about? That's right. It's just for fun, Rosenberg. Come on, man. Play alone, man. It's just, just shenanigans. Well, I mean, but I, it's also an excuse for us to explain because, yeah, people are confused. People are jobs. He, he's big on the internet, man. He's an internet, internet dude. Yo, by the way, never rocked a club in his life. Cas one, he ever rocked a club? His name is DJ Academics. Where you DJ at? Uh, you ever been on flyer with him? Nah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm literally just thinking on you. No, I can tell. You're not even trying to be insulting. Cass is literally just thinking about the answer. Yeah, really. That's what was so that's yo, the thing. Yo, he <laughs> brought yo, your man's I heard do we have audio? I heard your man, somebody just texted me and said, your man was talking about how I I used to decide who was the minors and the majors. Yo, that was from 2012 yeah. when I was talking about minors and majors. And by the way, you know what that was about? That was about who makes it to mainstream radio and who doesn't. And you know where you're not academics? On mainstream anything. Fecto. So you're not in the major leagues, my guy. You're still upon the internet. There is still a difference between a song that is popular for a couple of days on the internet and your IG page and what is going around 40 to 50 times a day, every day on every radio station in America. And the fact that you still don't know the effing difference gets you this. Congratulations, you played yourself. Here's where here's where all of y'all that think you own your platform are playing yourselves. Everybody be popping this, I own my this and I own my that. You own it, but you still gotta go to YouTube, Twitch, IG Live, or wherever to distribute it. I was wondering that. When people say they own their own platform. What is that? But, you it still... only, but it only airs on YouTube and Twitch. Do you own a piece of YouTube or Twitch I didn't know You're about? You're a liar. Last time I checked, you need to go through them. You developed your own software? And and they may and by the way, you may have a deal with them, but guess what? They could cancel you at any time. Bruh, he has the same deal. That parents whose 10 year old is really cute when he opens toys and the videos get 4 million each one, it's the same deal. Everyone gets the same deal. And by the way, I'm sure the money's good. But let's not pop off like when you're a boss when you sit in your basement playing video games. No, I mean, some of them dudes make a lot of money. That's so you, okay. You, you but taking don't... My little, you're taking my little moment and turning it. People out here, they doing <laughs> they doing their thing with that, man. No, no. But don't say you're a boss. You, he, Ebro, you don't even hear what he said. No, he didn't. said that he, he's exactly. You, he said that you people like you and I were you basically were pawns. He's a boss. My question is, what are you boss of? Are you a boss at Twitch? Are you on the executive board at YouTube? What what boss are you? Congrats, you make money. That's the whole point. Yes, we know that you propagate violence that actually happens. You take beefs between real people. You repurpose it on your channels, you talk about it, you hype it up, and you hide in your basement. And you're paid handsomely for it. But the fact that uh, that means I'm supposed to respect what you do, that's your contribution? Losers. Every, every once in a while you associate with some, eh, at best, eh, artist who's going to last for five minutes? That's, now, that's what you do? Now, all this is, y'all know what this movie is. We've seen this movie before. I'm going to bring back a relic. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Star. Mm. All academics is, is a is a star. Doesn't star still hide in the basement somewhere? And do know. a radio show somewhere? Mm-hmm. I think in Atlanta. He was another one couldn't go outside. Had to pay people to be safe. Hide behind police and talk greasy. Well, that I didn't know. That's true, too? Yeah! Well, damn. Yes! Hide. These niggas is hiding. <laughs> Yo, and all this time, I used to give Charlemagne a hard time just because he had security. At least he leaves the house. Charlemagne's chilling. 
He's out the house. He's got a guy who's six nine with him at all times, but no, he's out about, the house. And, and, only, and bringing Charlemagne to the conversation, Charlemagne has actually pivoted his brand after being in the doldrums of shoveling grit and grime and disgust, and is actually doing some positive work out here. Yeah, he's doing trying to do some positive work. Yeah, he grabbed mental health, pretends that he has anxiety, hey, 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 and acts hey, like he's hey, a pillar that, for no, the mental hey, health stop community. It. Stop it. Wait, listen, just because I had smoke for academics, you think I lost my previous smoke? Stop. I have all of it. He's doing positive work, man. Yeah. How, how you get to that path, you know, it's different for everybody. <laughs> like when if you, like if you, if you get to that path when a check gets hung in front of your face, you go, mental health? That's an angle I... Not everybody needs to be on that mental health. Bro, he created he created the anxiety for the people who'd come up and you make crime. You don't know that. You don't know that. The artist had anxiety when he would try to when he would try to embarrass them on camera. Now he's a pillar from endless. It's he's neither here nor there. The point is, I give him credit. He leaves his house. That is levels above. You literally well, and cannot he's doing leave your some house. Some positive work, which I guess allows you to leave your house more. We should get doing back on positive topic. work. Wait, what's the topic, Cass? Oh, I was I was this is I was just talking I just wanted to for anybody out there that thinks you own your platform but you still have to do business and get approval to put out your content through another service. You get the button. Congratulations, you played yourself. You get the button. Congratulations, you played yourself. You don't own YouTube, you don't own IG. You own your brand as much as I own mine. I can take my brand, Ebro, and put it anywhere in the world at any time. And at any time of day. And for any price I determine. So you don't, you haven't even really been in the game long enough to understand how this is going to play out for you. But I do appreciate the smoke academics i do enjoy a good kerfuffle a dust Dude. up a dust up if you will i thought you were going to come for me yesterday well once i heard your audio i'm actually hit rosenberg with the button congratulations <laughs> you played yourself Yo, if you're gonna get on ig live and talk greasy make it greasy listen to rosenberg up here this sounds like duckies and bunnies this sounds like he was giving out hugs last night on ig live Yo, this bass in academic's voice when he talks about me and Ebro from the comfort of his Twitch chair, the level of bass and yelling in his voice. Yo, let me tell you guys about when I worked at Complex, the way that dude carried himself in that building. Let me tell you about the level of hit mouse that that dude was in that building and the way he walked in the hallways, the speed walk that that dude does to avoid confrontation in real life. Academics. The level of bitch in that dude. I am one of the softest dudes publicly in the history of hip hop. I'm from Chevy Chase, Maryland. Yo, play some Disney music. I went to you. Hebrew school, okay? With people named Shlomo <laughs> and Ari and Avi, okay? This may be the only dude in the game who I would have zero hesitation scrapping with. Matter of fact, I know you're not much of a celebrity. You're just like a fat boy on Twitch. Nah, I would do a straight up celebrity boxing with you. I will Jake Paul academics for charity. Mind you, for charity. There has to be a purpose. You are yep. the softest man in the right. game. I've heard enough. Okay? I've heard enough. Stop. Make it stop. Congratulations. Stop. You're the one who you chose yourself. to play that part, which is no, not he, even the whole thing. No, he at played. All. I, I just said play the audio. That was the one Shawnee picked. That's what, that's what Juanito put in. Juanito oh. set me up. Wow. <laughs> what is that music so, playing in the background? I'm Brace here. Now, Rosenberg. You played yourself. Why? What, what about academics triggers you so much? The fact that he propagates violence and BS to make money and does it under the guise of it being hip-hop? That's what bothers me. And and the fact that he then follows that up by thinking his defense is how much money he's made, which does not fight against that point at all. That's all you can stand on is the money you've made? That I also, bothers me. I also want to point out in hip-hop history, anybody keeping score at home, 
the amount of people who have bragged about how much money they make and turned out broke in a few years. Hit the button. Congratulations. You played yourself. That is a reoccurring theme in this game. So if that's so if that's what you hang your hat on, that is fleeting. That's all I'm saying. What do you actually stand for? And by the way, what Rosenberg is saying is what many artists have been saying to academics. You may have heard us bring it up yesterday. In a, in a, they have an app called Clubhouse. It's getting pretty popular. That is exactly what Meek Mill and others were saying to academics. And they have big problems. These people have real problems with academics. Like that, that sounded like it was really on site. When they see him, they want to let him know what time it is. Well, I'm not an on-site kind of guy, you bro. I mean, it sounded like you were on site yesterday. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, I was Bring on the a site. Bring gloves at the ring out. I was on a site. I was on his <laughs> Instagram live. Yo, if you got a charity out there and you want to put some dough on the table, yo, I might, I might have to, I might have to put some dough up. I'll put some dough up for that. How much? Yo, you want, you want to start the pot at like ten grand for charity? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, let's do it. Rosenberg, ten grand for charity. I throw up. Me and Cass, I'll find ten grand, put it up. I think, I think we need to get to a number go higher than ten grand. YouTube. I think I need. I think stream. we. And y'all know I used to do Smackfest, so I know how to get these things licensed. You know what I'm saying? I know who to speak to. I yeah. know how who we the the medics we got to get involved. The New York State Licensing Commission, or if we got to go to the governor of New Jersey. You know what I'm saying, Governor Christie. Look, get Tyson involved. He just yo, like, yo yeah. LOL, no, the LOL move. You know Legends yo, of Tyson. what is it called? A Legends of Legends yo. Only League. Yeah, the Legends Tyson, Only League. Tyson's your man. You could be the yeah. rap. I mean, look, if Nate rap, Robinson could get crazy. in the ring with a YouTuber, then he, this could be set up. You know what I'm saying? You hot 97's ESPN zone. You dig? This is getting cracking. I mean, listen, Jake Paul brings a lot of views to the table for sure. Academics he, brings a lot of, but views. he brings some views. Not Jay Paul views, but views. That's what I'm saying. So, I mean, listen, it's a possibility, guys. <laughs> Yo, are you confirming that you're in for 10 grand? No. Yes or no? No, not for 10 grand, but I'm confirming that I'm open to it for 100 sure. 100 grand. No, it's going to... 100 grand, yeah. 100 grand, grand in charity. Once we, once, we, once we put it out there, the donations are going to come for the charity. So we're going to get to the number. So you know, it doesn't even... People just 100, know, grand, 100 grand for charity. Rosenberg is in. Yes. Boom, you heard it here first. 100, 100 grand for charity, charity. I'm in. Rosenberg's in. I'll strap off. I'll strap them on. Pause. Whoa, hey, yo. Yo, uh, <laughs> yo, hit Rosenberg with the button. This went from boxing this well, hold on. And by the, before we close this out, Shawnee, do you have my Smokey Robinson audio? Uh, yeah. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. We need a positive Happy Holidays vibe here. Let's hear from our guy, Smokey Robinson, who's on Cameo. And apparently his old um, neighbors who were kids and lived across the street from him, asked him for a cameo. And here's what happened on the cameo. Hey, Marco.